from you. And then I want to remind you, you're awesome. You got this. Take a deep breath. Whenever the spirit moves you, you can go ahead and begin. Everybody, let's give a big round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to push mute and you go ahead. What kind of music plays in the background when you think about different parts of your life? So, hi, my name is Eugene. Nice to meet everybody. I'll be talking about my background to kind of give you an idea of who I am as a person and the places I've gone, things I've done over the years, um, some hobbies I have, what I like to do in my free time, and some aspirations I look forward to in the up and, up and coming future and plans I have for my future. Um, and as I go through these different parts of my life, I'll be trying to incorporate music into each segment, kind of giving you a feel of the music I was listening to or the music I was hearing in my head as I talk about myself. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, I'll be first talking about my background. Um, when thinking of my background, I love the album, My Beautiful Dark Twist and Fantasy by Kanye West. It's a very uh, diverse album. It's old Kanye, kind of gives you a different feel for every track. One of my favorite ones is uh, track two, which is Runaway. And it starts off in just this simple piano um, tune that just plays for like 30 seconds and you're just kind of sitting there waiting for the build up and waiting for the beat to change. And um, that's kind of where my life has been before this point. And I'm transitioning right now into a different part of my life as I mature into a different age. I was born in the Philippines. I came here early in my younger years, about six. I got to witness the three-peat from the Lakers, which is an amazing thing in my life. Kobe's a big inspiration to me. Um, and throughout my years, I've done different things. I worked in EMS pretty much throughout the whole pandemic. That uh, changed me a lot. I'm a full-time dad, full-time student. I work at UCLA Ronald Reagan. Um, after I worked in the ambulance throughout the pandemic, it kind of lit a fire in me. And um, I realized I didn't want to be in healthcare forever, though I love it and I love what we do. It takes so much time and um, energy away from me that I can't get back to my kids. And I want to be able to work at a place where I could tell my daughter, I, I want you to be doing this in the future. I want you to be here next to me doing what I do. And I didn't feel that way about my previous job. So right now I'm working at a non-emergency facility. It's very relaxed. They let me do homework. Um, and it's giving me a place to kind of set a foundation for the next part of my life, which is why I'm back in school currently, working towards my computer science degree. Um, so that's just a little background of me. I have a very, very busy day, very busy life right now. Um, and next I'll be going over hobbies, things I like to do on my free time. Things I like to do for fun, just for no reason, spend hours on it and just kind of lose track of time. Um, when I think of my hobbies, I particularly love to think of the album from Sublime, 40 Ounces to Freedom, um, just to kind of relax and buy bottom my days off. Uh, I love um, like just drinking coffee with a slow pour on my Saturday afternoons. I like working on my motorcycle. I love tearing things apart and putting them back together and then waiting for it to fire up and not wondering like, is it gonna work or not? Is it gonna is it gonna happen yet? Did I do it right? Um, it's just like an exhilarating feeling to me. And that's something I've searched for in like every different parts of my life, whether it's riding my motorcycle or playing paintball or going to competitions, trying to teach myself how to hit the bags. Um, I do a lot of different kind of things. I try to write sometimes, even though I don't feel like I'm good at it. I love spoken word poetry. Um, just like my music tastes, I love to partake in a lot of different aspects of life. And I like to find different ways to kind of enjoy it. Um, and I love the struggle. You just kind of learn to, to figure it out, to kind of learn how to deal with it and move forward. So those are my hobbies. Um, I'll be going into aspirations that I have for the future. Dad. Um, right now I'm going back to school. You can stop what you need to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dad? Yes. Daddy, 
Okay. So next we'll be going over my aspirations, things that I plan for the future to just kind of move on from the foundation and move on to something bigger. Um, when I think of my aspirations, I love this um, kind of a long piano riff from um, FKJ. It's called Just Piano. It's a track of like six to 10 songs, I think. It lasts like 30 minutes. And it's just a bunch of different piano piano songs. And um, that's kind of one I want to build something elegant and strong for my family. Um, I'm trying to work towards a computer science degree so I can spend more time at home and have a better work-life balance. Currently, I live in Whittier. I work at UCLA Ronald Reagan, so I'm doing 100 miles every day on my motorcycle. Um, I know it's not sustainable, but my job just kind of makes it very beneficial for me, being able to go to school and have time at work to do stuff. Um, and it pays enough to take care of the bills, take care of my family. Um, so those are the aspirations I have, just in a quick and dirty summary. Um, so I kind of reference music throughout all of my uh, different points that I touched down on. Um, and as I close off my speech, I'd like you guys to ask yourself what kind of music was playing in your head while you guys were writing your speeches out. What kind of music do you think would were you thinking of when you were listening to me? Because I feel like we all love to reference music to different parts of our lives, even though we think of it or not. Yay! Awesome, awesome job, Eugene. I honestly, like when that started, and I don't know if anybody else was like this, and this is what took me on the ride. I was like, okay, yeah, the music, uh-huh, right? I didn't see how you were going to do that. And that was very dynamic organization for you to talk about how the music then you talked about the specific album you described the specificity of the album and then you related it to your life I was incredibly impressed and I saw how you did each of those things and what I wrote here is that for a novice who for a novice or somebody who knows the album with each one that you were talking about I you were clear and you were able to make that connection even without like hearing the music so that was really great it, thank overall thank awesome job poised and and you know well uh uh and well delivered as well so awesome awesome job thank, thank you. you yeah you're so welcome all right Ab